tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. So, Jenna, hello. Hi. Good to see you. So this is the first time I've met you, despite the like fact that we... Yeah, first time you've met me too, I guess, since we actually connected on email and I said, I need need somebody to do this work for me. Did I ever tell you how your name came to me? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I have great respect for one particular music director in this city. Her name is Karen Burke. Of course. Okay. And yeah. I went to Karen. I've gone to her many times when I'm looking for gospel singers or someone of that ilk. And I don't think she wasted more than a few seconds. And she said, oh, you've got to try out this Jenna Cowan. So <laughs> I thought, oh, I don't know this young woman. Who is she? And I went to your website and it looked really interesting. And that's why I started getting in touch with you. And of course, the rest is history. But the little sidebar in all of this is that I think it was last November, just a few months ago, I was having coffee with somebody. And I said, by the way, I've hired this young woman to sing this concert with us. And her name is Jenna Cowens. I've never met her. Do you? I'm assuming she's really great. Do you know her? He says, oh, yeah. I've sung with her in Nathaniel Dett Choir. Oh. Said, oh, really? Yeah. She's Karen Burke's daughter. <laughs> so there you are. There you go. Yeah. Small world, eh? Six yeah. years separation. Did your mother tell you that? No, she didn't tell me that you didn't know. I I assumed you knew. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Total stranger to me. Here we are doing passion music. I've done it once before and mm. really well. People really enjoyed it. So first of all, tell me, what's your first reaction to sort of working on all the solo sections in the score? My first reaction is just excitement. Like it, it pulls from music that already inspires me. So I'm so I'm going in uh already passionate and excited about the music itself like i i as you know is my family connection <laughs> um grew up around gospel music my whole life and and then went on to study jazz at the Berkeley college um jazz i was a jazz piano major but i did a lot of jazz vocals there as well and um and i've sung blues i've sung r b like i've pulled from all of those experiences and i found like that those that this particular work has all those influences in it, so that makes me really excited um, that I can that I can uh, I can pull from lots of different experiences of my own. So that's my first instinct. Yeah. Have you found the solo lines that, that Will Todd has written? Does they work for you, or do you think they they fit yeah. the genre well or the style of the music? I do think they work well on the recording. I especially love the the pianist, I guess, and how and how he um, inter interacts with the vocalist. Like I love I love those improvisations. So that was Will Todd actually who's playing in the recording. Not some of them, yeah. Okay, okay. I love that. I because, like I said, I have a little bit of a jazz background. Um, being giving the space to ad lib and improvise is something I love to do as well. I think the the, the soloist, or at least the the range of the soloist, is a little like lower than mine. So I so when when I do it, I might explore more of my upper range. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, other than that, yeah, I was, I'm really really enjoying the the lines. I especially love the space to ad lib. How it's like in the music. 
to, you know, okay, just do what you want here. Like, that's real. I really love that he gives you that space. Uh, I think you're going to really enjoy working with John Sherwood because okay. he's a very fine jazz musician and he loves to improvise and do his own thing as well. So that between mm-hmm. the two of you, you'll have a really good time, I think, uh, working it out together. And then, of course, we'll have a good time playing with it. Uh, were there any particular movements that appealed to you? Definitely seven last words. People he gave. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I'm sure that's going to be a, a common answer, but it's just so, in, it's just so intense and passionate. It's going to be lots of fun to sing. And oh, it yeah. takes you on an emotional journey, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it even does. with the choir too, how he slowly brings in each of the not seven last words or seven last phrases, but right. how he brings each one of them in till the very end when the sky turned black. I mean, it's very mm. powerful. Yeah. yeah. I'm really impressed with the piece, I have to say. And I've, I talked to the choir about it. Mm-hmm. Because I maybe the first time I was more concerned about getting the choir to sing the right notes at the right time. But when I started really getting into it and appreciating how he's there's a real structure to the piece. Yeah. You know, it's it's nine movements, but in fact it's three groups of three, which is uh, the Holy Trinity. Three mm. times three. Ah, yes. And it all it all centers around that fifth movement, which I think is one of the most beautiful movements, which is a stop at Mater. Mm. Mm. Latin a cappella, mm-hmm. and it's very serene and it's it's very comforting, which leads, of course, beautifully into number six, which is the seven last words. So he mm-hmm. has these wonderful contrasts. Yeah, and he then does. he throws in "Were you there?" at the end, mm. and that that's what I've sung before, but in the more the traditional way. I've sung that at a couple of Good Friday services, uh, in like a more soulful way. You I can love still how be soulful. You can still be soulful, of course. Yeah, but I, I really loved how uh, how Will Todd kind of like flipped it and flipped the melody a bit in, uh, in a fresh way. So he's doing it in a fresh way. I really appreciate that. Yeah. getting ready for a concert and you're warming Mm -hmm. up people want to know what do you do to warm up do you do any warm-ups i do do warm-ups i find for me when i'm about to sing it's it's very uh mental space for me i have to think of so i have to make sure um i do i can to like like listen to relax my body first like you know i'll go through like you know things with the music or i'll you know (laughs) <laughs> I won't do this every time, but maybe I'll like watch something I'll make me laugh. Anything to kind of just keep me at ease. Cause I know because when I'm like super tense, it's when it affects how I sing. So the more relaxed I am, the more assured I feel, the better I can perform. I so think it's right. Yeah. I, I'm I do warm ups, of course, the course, but I'm not always a big fan of vocal you know, calisthenics. I'm not yeah. sure that does the job it's meant to do. The real job of the warm up is to kind of get the focus going and get yeah. Get the body, the mind, and the brain, and the heart working together at the right time, the right space. And I find before a concert, too, I kind of get closed in on myself and get quiet just so I kind of get my thoughts. And I try to encourage that with the singers and the choirs, too. too. It's not about just singing scales. It's really about Mm -hmm. getting your mindset and getting ready to deliver the message. Exactly. And there's, the and there's a very big message in this. So, yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah. And mm-hmm. there's big message in both the works. You don't yes. know this other work we're doing, maybe oh. the Mass of the Iron Man by Carl Jenkins, but it too has a very powerful message. Mm-hmm. And on the mm-hmm. concert, we're presenting it with the screen down, a big movie, which is meant to coincide and, and uh, synchronize with of the, of the music as well. So that'll be exciting for everybody too. Oh, 
that's so great. I, I look forward to that. Are you doing that one uh, first? In the no, program? second. Second. You're first. Yeah. I'm first. Okay, fun. You're Let's first out of the game. Down. Yeah. Um, what kind of experiences do you draw on from those experiences that you know you'll be bringing to this performance of Will Tone's Passion Music? I think the tie is um, singing in church for a long time. I don't, I don't as often these days. I, I sing at a church here in Toronto on occasion, but I used to do a lot more growing up. And so this, um, I would say the story of the passion um, is, is something I've sung about many times growing up, but this is in a, in a very fresh way, which, you know, I wasn't able to improvise blues and jazz, before, you know, back in the days when I'm singing in church. Um, but I get an opportunity to take, uh, you know, my, uh, I guess, church experience and my training into it and one, all at once. So I think I would, I would say that's my tie. I'm very aware nowadays that we live increasingly in a secular world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I think that Todd does so well is he takes the passion story in very loose forms. You know, the word crucifixion is only mentioned once in the piece. Mm -hmm. We understand with the other texts that a, he's written one of the texts and some of the hymn texts he's improvised then taking the Latin text of Stop at Mater, incorporating Were You There at the end. Yeah. These universal texts and try to take this story and give it a much more, uh, bring it into the, secu the secular domain, I think. And of course, the music gives it that increased relevance too, doesn't it? With yeah. Jazz Absolutely. and the gospel and the folk element to it and the spiritual element. So I think it's a way of opening up this work and this idea of the passion story to a much broader audience, which is really what I think we should be doing and trying to find relevance in these words and this music. So many more people can be, you know, seeking the same kind of spiritual fulfillment that they're looking for. Amazing. Yeah. I think that's going to happen. I think there will be with, with both works. Um, there will be a real emotional uh, experience for. And yeah. I know the choir is really excited about meeting you. Oh, and great! I'm, I'm yeah. looking forward to it so much. <laughs> I'm glad to finally meet you. Yeah, you as well. So take mm -hmm. good care. Keep yes. practicing. And I, I will. look forward to uh, meeting and making music with you. Yeah, same. Thank you great. so much for speaking with me today. Thank you. My great pleasure. <laughs>